Hey guys, today we got something cool from Terran Tactical. The Terminalist Glock 19. So recently we've been getting a lot of Terran guns in lately and I really like them. I'm thoroughly impressed. This is one of his mini movie guns. It is a Glock 19 from the Terminalist series on Amazon. I was a big fan of the books beforehand, and uh, the, the show really did not disappoint. I can't wait for season two, but uh, it comes with two mags, and it's got your Terran gray mag extensions, which is a nice upgrade. They drop out really easily with a little added weight to them, and who doesn't want more ammo, I mean, really. Uh, so this is more of a carry focused gun, unlike some of the other guns that he does. Of course, Terran Tactical, or Terran Butler is one of the best competition shooters there is. Uh, and he makes some of the best equipment for competition shooters. But this one's a carry model, because this was James Reese's carry gun in the Terminal List. In the books, I know there's some slight variations, and we can talk about that in a later video, because we basically have all the guns that were in the, the movies and the books. But um, he had a Zev Glock which we've had those two. Um, they're harder to come by now, but this thing is really sweet. It's a Gen 3 right here. It's got your finger grooves, but man, on really the grip, the stippling job is awesome, but it's also, you can carry it. I really like that right here on the back strap. It's stippled, but up here, if you don't get the perfect firing grip, you can slide in, if that makes sense, guys. So that's what I like to do on my stipple jobs too. So I think that's a great feature. Everything about this gun is for carrying. Um, and like I said, uh, it's got night sight. So usually tearing guns, you know, you'll have a fiber optic and blacked out rear. But what I like about this too, guys, is it's really bright up front, these Trijicon night sights right here. So you got real bright orange back here and it's kind of blacked out unless it's dark and it's serrated so you don't get that glare off the sun. He ion bonds um, the barrel and the finishes just stay great. He's got his logo up at the top, but it's not like so, uh, you know, I don't, I'm not a huge logo fan, but it's just very subtle right here, this logo. He undercuts the trigger guard right here so you can get a higher grip. On a Glock 19, one of the biggest problems I have is my hands are too big uh, to get a full grip. But with that undercut right there and then the magwell, you can see that my, I can get all my hand on it. <laughs> All right, and like I said, Taryn, uh, with his finishes, they, they keep on the gun. We've never had any problems. You can have a gun shoot a long time, and it looks brand new with the way he does his finishes on the slide and the barrel. You got your accelerator cuts here, if that's something you like to do. I'm not I'm not an accelerator cut guy, but that's basically what they do. It gets you a good touch point too, right? And if you're one of those guys with touch points and you want to touch the trigger guard, he also stipples that. That's another touch point, which consistency we all know in shooting is one of the most important things. On the Gen 3s especially, guys, the mag release is very small, so they scallop right here so you can get a better um, purchase on that mag release button right there. So that is really nice with the features. And guys, it's a Glock. It's, um, it's got a ISMI still guide rod right there you can see that helps out for a lot of people uh it's a 15 pound recoil spring this like i said this isn't a competition gun this is a carry gun the trigger on it is really nice you still got the the glock shoe right there but the feel of it has taryn's magical touch with his gunsmiths it's like a four and a half pull i don't know what all they do with the internals but i'm sure they change out some connectors or polish them or do something to them it's just uh so it's a, got a nice distinct wall compared to your mushy wall with the glocks usually and a nice crisp break it's uh, m more than adequate for any use really I, in my opinion it's even better than some of the stuff that you know like a factory glock 34 with the uh minus connector on it but um overall guys i think this is a great gun if you're a movie fan or if you just simply want the best carry gun you can have